Alright guys, in the last few days I decided to spend some time visiting some of the known Dama locations on Trollsport Reserve with the only goal of finally getting the two species I needed to finally achieve our goal of getting every single diamond in the game. So in this video I'ma show you some of the best fish I managed to catch in those locations as well as exactly what I did to catch such trophies. And before we start with the video I have to say that most of the spots I'm about to show you can be found inside the resource hub on the official The Angler Discord server. You know, you're gonna find many very useful resources there, like hook charts, bait charts, and tree spreadsheets with multiple of the known demo locations for each of the three reserves. So if you aren't part of the official The Angler Discord server yet, I'ma leave you a link on the description below because I really recommend you joining it. Alright, so the first hotspot I visited while making this video is one of the most popular locations when it comes to getting a diamond asp. Essentially, this lake right here, which happens to be the spot number 6 inside the help sheet inside the resource hub on the official Discord, is perhaps the area that has been producing more diamond asp recently. So I decided to give it a try in order to hopefully get my first day bear diamond asp, and I can say it was a good decision. Now, talking about the setup I chosen to use to fish on this hotspot, on this case I decided to use a size 6 crop, which is for bronzes and better in the case of the asp. You know, most of the time the technique I used was jigging across the top of the water, but in some occasions I thought it was a good idea to also let it sink to the bottom because this lake can be quite deep in some areas and some of these asps are closer to the bottom sometimes, so it is also a good idea to let it sink while jigging and then reel it in at a 2 speed to catch some of those fish. Also something important is that from what I have seen the diamond asp can spawn pretty much everywhere within this lake but most of the ones that I've seen caught here have been caught around the center and around the southern half. So maybe put a special emphasis there. Oh this one is taking line. So I wonder how big it is. It is definitely an asp. Let's see a wait. Five point forty four kilograms, here is the gold. On a number six crop, the first gold of the day. And let me tell you, I've been on this location for only 20 minutes, and I don't think I've ever caught as many asp on such a short amount of time on any other location. It is great. Oh, another big boy. Another big asp. And it seems to be stronger than the last one. Holy. Is this the first diamond? Our first diamond asp? I guess it could be because the tension it is putting on the line is way higher than the tension of the last gold. It would be amazing if it is a diamond. Let's see. Six point seventy six kilograms, our new personal best, another gold. It is significantly bigger than the first one, but I think it is still far from diamond because I believe the diamond weight is around eight kgs. Man, this one is taking a lot of line. Maybe pike. Oh no way. Here is an asp, high side jump. Here is an asp, has to be diamond. Like, there's no doubt, the tension is way higher compared to the last two goals. Finally. We are about to land it. How heavy is it? Nine point ninety five kilograms series are first ever diamond asp. One of the last diamonds we needed here on Trolls for it and on the entire game. Now we only need the roach. Once we get the roach, we're gonna have every single diamond in the game. That's crazy. Look at the size of this thing. Okay. 
I guess this one is a pike based on the tension, but it could also be a massive fasp. You probably won't see this clip if it is a pike. So let's see. No way. Here is an asp, and I think it is gonna be diamond. Yes, 8.87 kgs. Our second diamond asp. Of the same location and of pretty much the same place within the lake. Love to see it. Now going over the second hotspot I visited in the process of making this video and in my quest for my first ever diamond roach, which up to that point was the last diamond I needed in the game, I decided to visit what is possibly the most famous location on the entire reserve, the Magic Pond. You know, the reason why this lake is so popular is simply because it is capable of producing diamonds of several species, more than on any other location as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if you go to the Trollsport help sheet on the official The Angler Discord, you'll see that this magic pond is marked as a diamond hotspot for exactly 8 species, which is crazy. And when it comes to a roach, I've seen that within this lake there are two spots that seem to produce the majority of the diamond roaches. The first one is the area in front of this river mouth, and the second one is the area close to this dock, right here. So I decided to focus on these two spots, hoping to finally get my first diamond roach here on Trollsport, which actually happens to be one of the rarest diamonds in the game. And I decided to use a hook size number 8 plus bloodworm in order to catch everything from a bronze roach to a diamond roach, on a float setup but maximum depth. Although you can also use a bottom setup and it is also gonna work great. Nice tension. That's a roach. Maybe diamond, I think. Yeah, it is a roach. Whoa. 1.34 kilograms. I thought it was gonna be bigger. You know, the diamond weight is 1.4. Oh, another big one. The tension is very similar, and the last one was almost a diamond, so this one may make it. Please be diamond. 1.33 kilograms, another gold. Slightly smaller. Damn. We've been very, very close, so it has to be just a matter of time for a diamond to finally appear. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Holy, that is a big days. I think that is a diamond. It is likely because this spot is also a known diamond location for common days. Would be our fourth diamond common days, I think. And the first one of the magic pond. So let's see the weight. Yeah, that is a diamond. 1.11 kilograms. A medium sized diamond. On a hook size number 8 plus bloodworm this time. Nice catch. Alright, guys, I just saw a massive pike in front of our boat. A truly massive pike. I just cast it out using a number 1 minnow, so he should come by it in a moment. And there it is, look at the size of that. Big boy. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a diamond. You'd be nice. And it is a diamond, 14.06 kilograms. Wow. I was not expecting to see a diamond pie here. And actually it is barely diamond since the diamond weight is 14 kilos. Hold up. That's a big roach. That is big. I really hope that is a diamond, and I really think it may be the diamond. Is this our first diamond roach? The tension is very high. 
So let's see. Just another gold. 1.36 kilos. So close. I've honestly lost count on how many gold roaches I've got on this location, but probably more than 10. It's been crazy. Is that a big days? Seems to be. Nice tension. I think we may be about to catch another diamond. Yeah, he made it. And not only that, it is our new personal best. Our new biggest common days. I'll take it. I mean, this is clearly not what we're looking for, but I'll take it. Nice catch. And there he is again. This guy is heavy. Undoubtedly diamond based on the extremely high tension it is putting on the line. That's a monster. Almost 20 meters out it is taking a lot of line. Which makes me wonder how close from the record it is. Because this guy is really strong. Really heavy. Alright, he has finally given up, already below 10 meters. So it's time to see how heavy it is. Is this guy actually close to the record? Let's see. 21.07 kilograms, it is a giant. I think the record is 22, but it's not even our personal best. Not even our biggest spike. But still a very nice catch. Another diamond pike on the magic pond. While looking for Roach. So after failing to get a diamond Roach on the magic pond, despite spending several hours there, I decided to try another hotspot that even though it's not marked on the help sheet, is one of the best locations, if not the best, to not only get a diamond Roach, but also a diamond brim. You may remember that on one of my last guides I shown this area right here around this marker where I had the luck to cash nothing less than 6 diamond brim in a matter of 3 days. It is simply an amazing place to get a diamond brim, but as I said it is also quite decent to get a diamond roach. So what I would recommend you is to arrive here in the afternoon, preferably around 1600 and make sure to cast out all around this area with both short casts and long casts using a hook size number 8 plus either imitation dog biscuits or pellets regular on a bottom setup. And make sure to catch everything, you are gonna catch many bronze and silver yellow perch, many bronze and silver roaches, probably some brims as well and eventually probably after you catch many fish a big one will spawn. Also another thing I recommend you is to pay attention and keep an eye out for jumping brim, because the brim is a species that likes to jump out of the water, so if there's a big one in the area it is likely that at some point it will decide to jump and you may see it. I mean in the case you see a big one jumping out of the water, simply switch over to a size 5 hook which is for calls and better, using imitation dog biscuits, and cast out towards the area where you say jump, it is likely it will bite. Now this one is a big roach. I don't think the tension is high enough to think it may be diamond, but it's still gonna be giant. Let's see. It is just a gold, not a surprise. 1.21 kilos. Far from being as heavy as some of the golds we have gotten recently. Oh wow. This could be a diamond roach. I mean it nibbled and the tension is very high, but let's not get our hopes up too much because it could also be a brim, a bronze brim. Wouldn't be the first time I get trolled by one while fishing for roach. I hope this one is a roach. Is it? Yes, here is a roach. Finally. I assume it is a diamond. Look at how big it is, 1.86 kgs. 
Her First Diamond Road to Norway And the last diamond we needed Now we have every single diamond in the game Really struggled to get one of these, I would say it is undoubtedly the rarest diamond here on Trollsport At least in my experience So I'm really glad that we finally managed to catch one It is a big diamond And here we have it, the Trollsport Bingo Every single diamond on Norway And consequently every single diamond in the game since I already have the bingo on the other two reserves Oh, was that a brim? Was that a brim? I saw a jump and it was massive So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna cast out exactly towards where we saw that guy jump using the same bottom rod With a heavy line A number 5 hook An imitation dog biscuits You know this setup is for gold and better when it comes to a brim so it should bite I expect it to bite If it was actually Brim Alright, we got a nibble That's some tension I think it is gonna be diamond, but I'm not sure Maybe just a huge gold Come on We are about to land it Man, that's a huge brim. There's no way this guy is only gold. And yeah, it is a diamond. 7.87 kilograms. What a surprise. A daytime diamond brim. Such a nice diamond. You know what's crazy is that this happened literally just a few minutes after I caught the diamond roach. Literally on the next cast, I side jump. That's insane, back to back diamonds You probably won't believe me But I just saw another giant brim jumping over there And it is biting the number 5 hook And well, based on the tension it is undoubtedly diamond Even heavier than the last one No doubt I don't know what's up with this session but it is insane a lot of big fish I wonder how heavy is this one You know, my personal best is 9.45 kilograms, which was very close to the record Let's see Eight point ninety three kilos That's a monster Another diamond brim and our third diamond on this session in less than 30 minutes I mean you definitely have to try this spot If you are missing a diamond brim you have to try this spot And make sure to keep an eye out for jumping brim because they really like to jump out of the water Yeah that's another diamond I also saw this one jump and the tension is incredibly high I'm using a slightly lighter line this time, so the tension is quite higher than with the last two, but I would say it is still high enough to consider it a diamond. You know, the fight is gonna be way longer. It is taking line. More than 50 meters away now. Seems like it is huge. Like truly huge. Maybe heavier than the last one, which was already massive As you can see it has completely given up after a long fight and we're gonna land it in just a few seconds Come on Imagine if it is a record It would be amazing, but it is unlikely Let's land it Of course it is a diamond this one with a weight of 9.05 kilos Far from the record But a giant brim nonetheless And the fourth diamond in less than an hour I think Yeah look at this We got this last brim at 5.14pm And we got the roach at 4.23pm 
safe to say this is the best tower I've ever had on this game. So the last location I'ma show you today after finally managing to complete the triple bingo is a hotspot that is maybe not as popular as the others but recently has been producing a crazy amount of diamond bullhead catfish. It is essentially the spot number one inside the troll spotted help sheet, basically the shallow area in front of this marker, around here. And yeah, it is a very nice place to get big catfish because even though they don't spawn much during the day, when they spawn they are normally big for some reason, like old or better. So what I like to do on this spot, and what usually works for me is to park my boat exactly where I am at the moment, then cast out all around the shallow area with a special emphasis on these three spots, which are the spots where the majority of the diamonds seem to spawn. I normally start by using a hook size number 7 and cheese in order to catch as many chops and brown trouts as possible, so eventually a big catfish spawns. And whenever I stop getting bites with this setup, what usually works for me is to switch over to a size 7 spinner with which I try to catch some of the graylings that are probably gonna be in the area. Once I catch a few of those graylings, I go back to the size 7 cheese and a lot of times, not always, I start getting bites with the cheese again. You know, at the end of the day, what I think matters on this spot is to catch as many fish as possible regardless of the species so eventually a big bullhead catfish appears. No way, is that a catfish? I think it is. Here is taking line, on the 2 kilogram line. So I guess this is gonna be the first diamond of the day because this guy is taking a lot of line and from what I have seen this spot is simply amazing for diamond bullhead catfish. They seem to spawn a lot here. Alright, he's not running anymore, he's getting tired. Now it is less than 10 meters out. I imagine it will be our new personal best because our first diamond and only diamond of this species was quite small. Let's see. Three point twenty two kilos, it is a diamond. Way bigger than our first one. And what's interesting is that this is literally the first bullhead catfish I catch on this location because so far I've been catching mostly chops and brown trouts. A lot of chops and brown trouts. Holy, that is a huge catfish. Seems to be similar in size to the last one. And it is taking line and running. Wow. Yeah, this guy's big. It's still running at 50% drag. Man, I would say it is stronger than the first one. And if the first one was already massive, we can only wonder how heavy is this one. And after roughly a 5 minute fight, we are finally about to land it. Is this gonna be our new biggest diamond bullhead catfish? High chance that is the case. 3.53 kilograms, another diamond. And it is actually our new personal base, which is not too far from the record. 3.6 kilograms is the record. Such a nice catch. I don't think the model gets any bigger than this. So this is the spot right here. All this shallow area. And I can say it is truly a great spot. I've seen a lot of players pulling diamonds from here. I think that is a diamond. Yeah, the tension is high. We are using a heavy line now, so the fight won't be as long. And this is another daytime bullhead catfish. Look at the size of it. 3.11 kilos. You know what's crazy about this spot is that even though the bullhead catfish do not spawn a lot here, when they spawn they are normally big. Like most of the times they are gold or better during the day. So it's just a matter of being patient and try to catch as many fish regardless of the species from this location before a diamond catfish spawns, which normally doesn't take a lot of time. They keep coming. 
I think just catching all the other fish, mainly chops and brown trouts using a hook size number 7 plus cheese. And these monster bullheads keep appearing. Is this one big? Well, it is another diamond with a weight of 3.19 kilos. Far from the record and far from our personal best. Seems like we have another diamond coming in. Looks really big. Actually, that's some really high tension, so I'ma swap to a lighter line just in case it is close to the record. Because if we happen to tie the record in terms of weight and length, the score would become the deciding factor, and using a lighter line will give us a much higher score. And there he is again. Has to be well above 3 kilograms based on the tension we saw on the other line. Yeah, this guy's heavy. It is running. You know, the only reason I keep coming back to his hotspot is because I wanna see if I get lucky enough to catch something that is truly close to the record. Or maybe the record. And this one could be. Let's see the weight. Whoa, 3.56 kgs. Our new personal best, and only 40 grams below the record. We were so close. So close yet so far. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the video, and please consider subscribing to the channel to receive the notifications for all the upcoming guides. So with that said, thank you for watching, and see you next time.